Here it is, my friends, the Subaru Forester Wilderness in autumn green metallic. In this video, you'll see what this thing can do both on-road and off-road. And these demonstrations were performed on a closed course, a controlled environment. Granted, the off-road portion wasn't as challenging as what this can do in real life. Either way, you'll get a sense of some of the performance abilities of this vehicle. Let's get started. Not a Mazda. but serviceable. Now this is something you probably would face in the real world, out in the wilderness. All right, my friends, welcome inside the 2022 Subaru Forester Wilderness. Excited to get behind the wheel of this SUV. Some details about it. I'm here at my Outdoor Activity Vehicle of the Year competition in Eastern Washington for my press association. We've got 20 vehicles here, and I get a chance to test this one on-road and off-road. Today is the on-road section. I'll talk more about that in a second. So this has a four cylinder, 2.5 liter, horizontally opposed boxer engine, dual overhead cam, 182 horses, 176 pound feet of torque. Gets 25 city, 28 highway for fuel economy, can tow 3,000 pounds. And I'm uh, gonna give it a roll today. What I'm doing is uh, doing some pavement testing, dry pavement, even though a little bit wet here, as opposed to the off-road we do tomorrow. We do an acceleration test. You'll see other vehicles here that I'm following in different categories, truck, midsize, compact, luxury, non-luxury. Acceleration test, braking test, a little slalom action going on, and then uh, this go-kart course that we also go. And this is competing with a couple other vehicles that I'm, I'm grading because we're, we're doing all these vehicles in two days to determine this uh, Northwest Outdoor Activity Vehicle of the Year competition. We call it Mudfest and we've got this muddy course tomorrow. We do the course tomorrow because uh, it'd be tough to clean all the cars after the fact. So in this category, the Subaru Forester is in the compact, subcompact family category. Uh, it's competing against, at this event, the RAV4 and the CX-50. And right now, the CX-50 is leading for me in my grading system of on-road pavement ride and, ride and handling, powertrain braking, Exterior design, interior comfort functionality, and application of technology. So of the three, CX5, CX50 is leading, and this is my last one that I'm testing, so should be interesting to see how this works out. I'll give you some more information while I'm waiting behind an MDX, I'm waiting behind the RAV4, and the Hyundai Santa Fe. So 104.9 inches of the wheelbase, 182.7 inches long, cargo capacity in the back, 26.9 with the seats up, 69 with the seat down. The weight is 3,600 pounds. I did mention it toes 3,000 pounds. Approach angle, which doesn't matter today, is 23 and a half degrees. Departure angle, 25.4 degrees, if that matters to you. Redesigned and strengthened roof rails with a static load limit of 800 pounds. Advanced dual function X mode for increased capability. Ready? Okay, here's our acceleration and then we'll brake. Three, two, one, go. So, so acceleration. Ooh, it's taking a while to hit that red line. Gosh, I only got it 46 miles per hour. That's braking, isn't it, right there? That broke. Broke that pavement. for the handling of this Subaru. Yes, 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 at 25 miles per hour. Woo! There we go. Waiting for uh, the Santa Fe to come through. All right, thanks guys. And now we'll accelerate, we might get to the 60, I'm not quite sure. 35, 36. Oh. 
So 54 miles per hour. All right, let's see how this handles. Probably should do pretty well, pretty stable. Woo! Not a Mazda, but serviceable. All right, it's time to test the Forester off-road. This is a two minute course, basically. Not super challenging, especially for a Subaru. A couple articulations, little hills left and right, some logs to go over. We'll take it slow and just let you uh, see and experience what this looks like. I think you'll be impressed, but it's easy to impress with the Subaru. That first part, that was a speed bump. All right, now we'll get on the side. Put this one on the right hill. There we go, that's quite the angle, huh? Now this is something you probably would face in the real world, out in the wilderness. No pun intended. Yeah. No problemo. Now we will immediately hit the left bank. Articulation time. Wheels will be spinning in the air. Quite the divots, too. All right, hang on tight. Not you, me. Symmetrical all wheel drive, in effect, making this easy work. See what I said? Less than two minutes. Some river rock, which also could be something you'd find in your weekend warrior wilderness travels in the Subaru. Lifestyle, you know it is. There we go. So what do you think? The combination of the on-road, off-road. How would you grade it? Scale of 1 to 10. Leave that in the comment section below. It'd be kind of cool to... You give it a scale of 1 to 10 on its overall on-road and then its overall off-road. I think 1's going to be a 10. The off-road portion. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Click like, comment, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching many more videos from this event on my channel. Adios. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.